But first of all, let's let everybody hear your story. What is the Jerry Green story? Well, let me, you know, just kind of take it back a little bit, Jay, on things. I, as I, um, as you said there, I started in the business um, actually in 1994. So this is uh, going on 27 years in the business. Um, when I was um, actually put in, I was kind of, I always say I was put into the business and I kind of tie that in with uh, being in a position where I actually went through a bankruptcy back in about 1993. And then I was in a position where I literally had zero income on things. And uh, if you remember back in those days too, Jay, I mean, we didn't, we just, we didn't get notices on our phones and stuff like that about uh, Facebook alerts or anything else about events or, you know, anybody offering anything. It was pretty well on TV or it was in the newspaper. So I heard about a, a real estate seminar in Cincinnati, Ohio. It was uh, actually um, Charles Gibbons back in those days. And I went to that event and sat there for three days, listened to a lot of different things and realized that I really wanted to do this business. But at the same time, I was like, you know, like anybody does in this business when you first get started, you know, wondering how can this be true? How can you do this? And, you know, I left that event trying to think what I wanted to do. Of course, one of the things I went back and done, Jay, first thing was ask my family what I should do. And what do you think they told me to do? Go out and get a job. Right. They probably so, told you that, that that real estate investing thing is a scam, nothing to it. You know, oh, 100%. You're going to lose your money. We call them the naysayers. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's exactly what they said. You know, it's like, go out and get a job. No, you just need to do that. You need the benefits and all this type of thing there. So anyways, I, you know, looked at that and I said, okay, I, you know, other people can do this. Why can't I do it? And at the same time, I thought, what do I have to lose? I just lost it all. <laughs> so, right. so I decided to really, you know, try to drill down on this. And I an interesting thing too, Jay, on this, I ended up hiring a mentor right after that, when I met the, uh, at that three day event. And a lot of people say, well, how don't I, how did you hire the mentor? I actually borrowed my mom and dad's credit cards. Ah. Yep. And that's how I got started in the business. And then I started focusing on really, I, I had to generate cash because I had to take care of my family I put food on the table. So I started going out and wholesaling. This was over in Springfield, Ohio. And literally I went out and just started hitting the ground running, running from really property to property on things, Jay, just really total grind mode. And I was just finding deals, wholesaling because I had to always call it chunk money. I had to put those chunks of cash into the bank so I could take care of my obligations. So, yeah, and that's really how it all started. And I started building from there and just continued to grow. Then I got into the rehab side of the business, continued to grow that and went through a lot of different developments over the years as I moved forward and um, kind of evolving and a, a lot of mistakes. Okay. A lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm.